shit now These faded thoughts never felt so sober Riding a detox even when the feeling is closer Yeah, the feeling is closer Don't wanna feel when it's over Yo, my passion is burning It won't diminish the smoke That was a bike ride right there, man We went all the way from Burleson To Ella Austin To Woodard And back Hey Kenya, what's up, man? You here for the bike ride? Bike ride? What are you talking about? No, man. <laughs> Real quick. She's been ready to, ready to produce. Awesome. Well, uh, let's kick it off. Yeah. All right. right. Kick it. Big Woo! soccer ball. <laughs> sustainability. Where are we headed with sustainability? Uh, where do we need to go? Where are we going? Sure, sure. Um, well, I think that since we've had the Industrial Revolution in the 1800s, that we've become less sustainable. Yeah. And it wasn't so much of an issue because the population wasn't what it was today. So you have 100 million people on Earth, 500 million people on Earth, even a billion people on Earth. Maybe you can live that lifestyle, um, but as populations exploded and technology increased, yeah. mm -hmm. um, we're just getting to a point. I was reading the other day about Donald Trump on NPR. I was listening mm -hmm. actually, and he was talking about cars. We're going to put tariffs on cars from Mexico. Yeah. Cars are the big money maker for all different countries who import cars here, right? Yeah. So it's like I was like, hmm, like why are cars the big money maker? Cars are expensive, actually, right? Yeah. Like I'm still paying on my car, yeah. but I realized with the population explosion there's not enough cars because every day people are turning 16. yeah every day yeah. if 10,000 people turn 16 then do we need 10,000 more cars yeah. and that's really the mindset and i and when i was a kid i wanted a car i yeah. wanted that yeah. freedom right i got one at 16. Uh, yeah yeah so <laughs> um i guess to say all that i'm prefacing and saying um we're at this point in time of uh extreme consumption and especially in america where we we consume like 3.5 times what a normal person should consume uh, throughout the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take some uh, major lifestyle changes for all of us, me included, mm -hmm. uh, to live with 8 billion plus people on the planet and be able to experience Earth in its pristine source from the beginning of time. That's super cool. And what I love about that is that... Um I've been doing a lot of, uh, you know, economics study. Sure. And in economics, they, they say, you know, in order to, I mean, the general principle is if you want growth, you have to actually reduce consumption. <laughs> um, and I think that that's so cool. If you think about it, even in your own life, you sure. know what I mean? Like if your cup's already full, you know, you're bound to overflow. <laughs> I just wanted to watch this song. <laughs> hey, I like it. I like it. But, uh, <laughs> but it's true. You know, like when you take back, when you take back, that's why certain things like fasting or whatever, mm -hmm. it's good for periods of times when you want to grow. How do you mm -hmm. dial back? And I think we could all use that in our lives. Like, sure. Because it's cool. But, uh, you know, iPhones, apps, that's not the peak of our lives. I think uh -uh. if we dial back, put everything that's going on in its place in mm -hmm. our lives, it has a place, definitely. But dial back, get get everything, our 100%, our get it down to 80%, mm -hmm. and really start thinking about what we can do. There's so much that we still have to do. Mm -hmm. We still got to discover the sea, the deepest sea. We still got to discover space. Like, we just need to be not so content with the world that we're, like, over-consuming everything all the time. Mm -hmm. This isn't the end. There's so much more for us to do and I really like the idea of just dialing back putting everything in its place treating nature it was cool for growth you know industrialism we all get it you know uh, McDonald's is a really good way to feed a lot of people it's not a really good way it's a way <laughs> it's a lucrative way a lot of people yeah. yeah it's a way to feed a lot of people Walmart is a way to distribute you know now that we have those systems we're at that level where we're very global now let's start doing things the right way fixing some of these systems mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm pumped I'm pumped sure, about sure. Sustainability composition. You got an art take for us? Oh, man, sustainability is super dope because when I think about, you know, how do we sustain ourselves within mm -hmm. this body and different mm -hmm. things like that, a lot of times we like to detach, you know, the earth or different things from, you know, how we operate, you know, within our body. And it's just like they're really, it's all similar. So it's just all like, as you were saying, like being able to dial back, it's the same thing with like your habits, the same thing with anything like that. We are at a point where we're so extreme in either or where we either do so much of one thing or we completely not do it 
and have like a judgment of the people who are doing it because we just don't know how to discipline ourselves you know and anytime that i see like us going to tokyo or even when i was in mexico when i look at the vehicles and how they maneuver through mm -hmm. i mean they had bike parking garages <laughs> really yes yeah, yeah, like yeah. legit like yeah legit. like, like how park. big like, like two story two, yeah, like, like, uh, yeah, like parking garage just and like bikes. a whole bunch of just little metal things to lock your bike to no, yeah uh, most was, people didn't even lock yeah. their bike there would be attendance at some of them but huh. uh you would just be able to take your bike in there and park most of the bikes look the same i was like i guess you could just steal them <laughs> kind of look like college campuses where there's, there's tons of bikes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but um yeah so many people ride bikes there that's so like so i look at those things and I and you know being able to see how other people are doing things like a lot of people here in America just don't realize that you can have a balance you know it's being able to just figure out as far as what it is that you're wanting to do and like you said like we have to start living like there's you know billions of people here you yeah, know and yeah, there yeah. is an abundance but there won't be for long if you know we're... we keep it this right exactly exactly so and that's I, what i like what you said is that it starts on an individual basis mm -hmm. you know it's easy to say hey we need to do this for the world or right now the new green deal right some of the progressive democrats are talking about yeah um but i challenge myself every day and i still have not overcome it uh before you try to tell somebody what they should do yeah. how about you do it in your life you yeah. know and i think that's one of our weaknesses discipline mm. is uh you know we want everybody to recycle we want everybody to eat better we right. want everybody to do this and that but um trying to optimize ourselves because if everybody optimize ourselves ourselves exactly. yeah. then the organism would be efficient yeah. Yeah. but i sort of see um humans almost like a cancer on mm -hmm. the body of earth and so essentially these cities that we're creating in the urban core are the cancer spots yeah and we have a, de a decision right now are we going to allow the cancer to continue spreading or are we going to heal these spaces yeah. um, that have so much um, in addition to environmental justice and health justice and all these other things that is all tied in and it's truly one thing if we think about it on a larger scale oh yeah that's why i think you know the concept of vote earth i think it's definitely much bigger than mm -hmm. it's gonna last beyond you know the event that we're currently working on um and it really brings the the onus back on the right person which is all of us you know it's like and especially in a time when we're like so caught up in in politics and we have so much energy you know and just the attention to political news mm -hmm. it's really i we need to pull back a little bit look at ourselves there's so many things that we could be doing every single day because those things are just manifestations of, of what we're doing on a daily basis mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how we're buying mm -hmm. our food yeah. how we're deciding to live the small decisions every dollar that you have is a vote um Man. every every decision yeah, yeah, that you yeah. make is a vote yeah. you know and you're putting these that's things the biggest in place. vote yeah. yeah and then you're trying to change it way after yeah. you've done it you want to live one way for 20 years and then think that you're going to fix it with a vote uh it's just an empty th way but we can really we can really reinvigorate ourselves i've i've been trying since the first event here <laughs> to get myself deeper into this garden yeah, and it's a yeah, lifelong yeah. thing sure. to work on yourself and make yourself someone who's more connected to these things um, so, I mean, I'm just glad every time I get to step into this garden, I'm like, look, God, as, as many seconds as I, <laughs> as I walk in here, that means I'm sustainable. If I'm just walking around in the garden, then my actions of walking for that day have been sustainable. Yeah. And just getting deeper and deeper in that and pushing myself deeper into the in, into that, that's 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 kind of what I see that whole voter thing. That's mm -hmm. where I'm excited for this to go. Yeah, I'm glad, you, I'm glad you brought up the title of Vote Earth because mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure exactly how we really came up with it, but here it is. Yeah. Yeah. And so the idea, you talked about economics and we vote with our dollar. What if everybody said, hey, we're going to not spend our money on reusable, on a single use plastic. So, hey, yeah. we're not going to, we're not going to buy gas anymore. It's we're done. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> everybody's going to be late an hour to work because everybody's going to take the bus. Yeah. Everybody's going to bike. So instead of work starting at eight, work starts at nine. Exactly. Yeah. You know, but we are so mind controlled that we're scared. Yeah. We're scared to advocate for ourselves. We're scared to advocate for earth mm -hmm. because we don't want to get fired yeah, we don't want yeah. to lose our job we have bills we got blah 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 right mm -hmm. um so it's going to take that mental shift to say you know what uh, i'm going to live for a greater uh, composition 
than just my single note. Yeah. My note is is me and I am important and I want to be in the composition. Yeah. But at the same point in time, I want the composition to be beautiful. And for that to occur, I have to be cognizant of everything yeah. around me. And how I spend my dollar right now in a capitalist society is probably the strongest thing that we can do. I'm for voting mm -hmm. um, to a certain oh, extent. Yeah, and I, you know, I ran for uh, office back in 2017. Mm -hmm. But also, I am. There's a little bit of voter apathy in me, and the idea of especially national and even state elections and how mm -hmm. they're run, and just yeah. seeing so much of the reporting and the hanging chads. Mm -hmm. You know, like come on, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but regardless, um, <laughs> we digress. Yeah, and I think I think most of us are used to putting putting our 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 energy into play. So I think I think. I think this event, like the concept of it, isn't new. I think we understand it. We understand that um, every day we kind of have the ability to to move things in a different direction. It doesn't have to be super complicated, but mm -hmm. I do think that there are really fundamental ways of doing it. Sure. You can change your. You can yeah. switch to organic, but if all your organic products are coming from Walmart, you're 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 moving, but it's very marginal. Sure, sure, I think sure. that when we kind of really redesign ourselves, start looking for. 30 minutes to an hour a month where we can connect to a space like this, like our a day. gardens. I mean, it started with the month. It's a, I only got out here five times yeah, last year, yeah, but that was yeah, better yeah, than yeah. two times last year, the year sure, before. Sure. And now, you know, I think this year's going to be even more than that. Hey, it's April. Out You're out here a couple times. I'm, I'm already, yeah, yeah. I've already been out here twice this year. Like, so, and I want to start coming more to like actually start, you know, um, being part of the garden, getting some these vegetables. I have a there theory about eliminating $50. That's what I want. That's my first goal. If I can get $50 of my produce budget out of um, per week, per month, per month, per month, just to start $50 per that's month, what, 600 if I can get that out, bucks. Um, a year. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. And that's just like a, a few tomatoes. Yeah, if I whatever. can get that out just to start, yeah. I think that's, I think that's, that's huge. That's huge to me. You could do a hundred a month. Yeah. I think is realistic. Yeah. Um, just because you know tomatoes lettuce yeah we have celery we have cilantro we have eggplants if you moved to a plant-based diet and yeah. reduced your meat consumption yeah, yeah. and yeah, use protein for eggs every once in a while we can have some chicken soup yeah. you know? uh, some chicken legs yeah. but i know how to i know how to clean the chicken hey, my dad we... actually has a bunch of chickens in oh yeah city, so yeah nice nice yeah, so, um, Did these chickens have been good for us um and i think that Chickens are so great at the yeah. minimum. Yeah. You know, doing chickens is a great way to feed your, your garden, feed yourself. Um, but yeah, I think you can really save 100, that's 1200 a year. Yeah. And that's huge. And I think it's more than that, honestly. Yeah. I think there, there's a lot of calculations. Like people say Uber is more expensive than. I'm about to go on a tangent. Uber is more expensive <laughs> than driving. But then you, you go into <laughs> the number of things that go into driving mm -hmm. other than just the cost of the car and the cost of the gas. Mm -hmm. Other than those things. And then you add in maintenance and all these things. And I think what we. We, we like to brush over the, um, the added costs mm -hmm. that go into buying a banana mm -hmm. at, at, at Walmart. Mm -hmm. But I think even definitely on an economic level, the way that we, we, we distribute stuff is actually more costly in the long term. Sure. Um, and in reality, then, then we actually take account for, but even in our lives, I think that we don't, we don't do a good job of calculating um, how we're sterilizing aspects of our own lifestyle and how that plays out um, over the course of our energy expenditure in a very real way and what that does to us uh, you know like needing um, certain forms of entertainment wear and tear on your own body that plays out in different ways so I think there's a lot of like hidden hidden ways and I'm interested to seeing interested to see them get eliminated as I move more towards into it but I'm, I think there's a lot of things that I don't even realize that are associated with um, having a lifestyle that's so disconnected mm -hmm. from the ground mm. that are gonna get healed as I start to make that shift mm -hmm. so I'm excited for that because I think it's I think it's huge $100 a month is real
Yeah, yeah. But on definitely. top of that, so all the other ways. Break down what is happening because we want to. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Let's so, what is happening for voters? Yeah. Voters <laughs> is this idea that we came up with, essentially doing a bike ride tour of some of Gardopia Gardens, so people can sort of see the work that we're doing, mm -hmm. and then from there, and practicing health and wellness, and talking about transportation, things of that sort, and then we're going to come back to. Burleson, and that's sort of when Kenyo composition y'all are gonna take over and yes. tell me about what's going on with the podcast. We, we got some panels, we got some interviews. Uh, Mina Deshay, she's super awesome. She's gonna be out there. Andrea Vocab Sanderson, um, they both do a lot in this city. Vocab is uh, probably the one of the premier entertainers <laughs> residents out here in San Antonio. Nice. You know, she's two time mayor ball performer. Hey, now we're talking. Um, cover of San Antonio Magazine, cover of SA Current. Um, all in the last 12 months, wow, not wow. to mention she, she's, just, she's just doing a lot of stuff. Sure. Um, and then Amina Deshay, you know, really, really great stuff. Social Solstice, her yearly event. Um, and then she's also, she helps out write, uh, write art out. Um, she, she collaborates with them mm -hmm, a lot. So mm -hmm. that's going to be really great. Those two um, interviews slash performances. And then um, we're also going to have another performance, Young Up and Comer. Won't announce that today. <laughs> you had to look around for that little piece of info. And then Mr. Composition's gonna perform. And we're gonna have two panel discussions, which are being, uh, you know, curated in part with the Stephen, I mean, almost entirely by Stephen Luck. And I'm excited because I know you just know so many people in sustainability and um, uh, in that sector. And then we're also gonna have an art auction, which I'm super excited for because that to me is very similar to getting connected to gardens. Um, having more control over the way that we consume our relationship with art, the way that we purchase it, the way that money goes into it. I think that there's a lot to be healed in society by um, letting people get closer to that. And so um, I'm really interested in diving into that. It's going to be a fun little um, occasion to, to look more into those concepts. It's going to be it's going to be awesome. Then, of course, I'm hosting. Um, so it's it's gonna be great. So it has to be great. Oh, it's it gonna to be, be great. great. <laughs> and I've, we've done, I've done some hosting stuff at Burleson before. Yeah, yeah. The outdoor stage is really nice. It's a very comfortable place to spend a couple hours at an evening with your friends at. So, um, and I know the biking community loves Burleson. So yeah, yeah, know, definitely. The whole thing's tying together at the end of Fiesta, which is perfect for San Antonio. People are really in a festive mood out here, so. I know that the energy is going to be really great. I'm so excited. Are we supposed to have some vendors? I'm grateful. Yes. Vendors. We got. Um, we got. So far, we keep it under wraps, but we have some vendors. So April 27, go Eric. Woo! Get him. Get them. Okay. That was a bike ride right there, man. We went all the way from Burleson to Ella Austin to Woodard and back. Whew. I'm a horrible actor, but it's okay. <laughs> 